Yeah, man. I'm gonna be reacting yo to uh poetic poetic flocker from the no jumper platform. Now he's known to be a civilian. Now he be going hard talking all this gangster shit, right? But then again, he's another charge of white. Like you know you a civilian, you know you ain't about that life. So when the bear comes at you, you motherfucking tell the zookeepers. If I'm using the correct analogy. So basically, he pick he pick at this dude and shit, right? But when this dude try to retaliate a certain way, Flacco gets the motherfucking um, FBI involved, law enforcement involved. So that's how I feel about people. This is what my reaction to it is. Like, it needs to be an individual that looks at shit and got money to the point where like, yo, I'm going to make bail when I do something to him. Like, you, ain't, you don't have to kill Charles and White or any one of these people that be picking that shit for you to, to get a response from you for you to retaliate a certain way. Now they press the charges on you. No, nah, you ain't got to kill them. But when you catch them motherfuckers, beat the goddamn brakes off of them. It ain't nothing but an assault charge. You're going to get a bond. You're going to make bond. You get what I'm saying now? Depending on how your criminal record is, it's going to determine if you get jail time later on down the line when you found guilty for it. But y'all need to goddamn start going upside these niggas' heads and shit. Like, I'm telling you, they're going to keep picking, playing these nan nan and boo-boo type games and shit. I'm ready to pick at this motherfucker. He know that the FBI is big on goddamn recos. That the FBI is just watching everything nowadays. Let me pick at this motherfucker knowing he's not going to retaliate in fear of law enforcement is going to damn do so. That's how I look at these people that um, claim to be citizens, but poking poking at the bear. You get what I'm saying? Now when the bear react, now you trying to goddamn get, you get what I'm saying? You trying to get goddamn the park rangers involved and shit, but y'all listen to this shit. I was just telling y'all, he's a motherfucking civilian. So you a street nigga, you are gonna react all street tactics for us. Like, <coughs> if you feel, <coughs> excuse me, or if you feel played or disrespected in any type of way, you are gonna react. So y'all heard him. He said he's coming for the street dude, knowing that he's gonna get that type of reaction from them. Now, when you get those, when you get that reaction. Now I'm ready to call the authorities and get you in trouble. It's basically what he doing. So I'm telling y'all, if you know the law like I know, don't go shoot the motherfucker. Let the motherfucker live. You can always hurt a person without having to kill them. Let them live with the suffering and pain and shit. Keep them alive. Beat the goddamn brakes off the motherfuckers to the point where their legs broke or arms broke or something. Or they can't eat food for a whole month or two. Them living in that type of pain is going to have them wishing like hell they ain't got them. You know what I'm saying? Even play those type of games. Don't kill nobody. Don't shoot them. You get what I'm saying? Keep them motherfuckers alive. It's basically like a torture. You get what I'm saying? Every day that goes by, they're going to be in pain and agony. You get what I'm saying? So that's how I feel about this shit. There's a thousand ways to kill a motherfucker. Skin a cat, you get what I'm saying? Without using a motherfucking knife. You get what I'm saying? So that's how I look at the shit. You got bail money. Assault ain't got down. The 
end of the world. You got motherfuckers that's coming home. You got motherfuckers that make bond on murder charges and shit. Like, murder is not, like, the, the taboo is thing nowadays no more. You get what I'm saying? But I'm telling y'all right now, get that bail money together. Get the lawyer together. Because you already probably got the lawyer together. But get the bail money together. Put hands and feet on these motherfuckers that keep picking. Like Takashi 6 9 motherfucking Charles and White. And then face the repercussions and shit, the consequences later on down the line. So that's an assault. So by me assaulting you, I ain't ready to get there. do no five, ten years for that shit. Motherfucker, I'm ready to cop out to probation. You get what I'm saying? So that's what the fuck y'all need to be doing. And I'm going to goddamn root for that campaign. Y'all motherfuckers start, need to start putting hands and feet on these motherfuckers that's poking fun at the bear. You get what I'm saying? Knowing that the bear is going to react. You get what I'm saying? Now, when the bear react, now what? I'm in trouble now because you picked at me, now I'm reacting. You get what I'm saying? So that's how I look at that shit. Takashi 69, Charles and White, and this motherfucker be poking fun at the bear. You get what I'm saying? So when. When shit, when the heat comes and shit like that, motherfucker, da -da 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 -da. yeah, law enforcement, uh, go to press charges on such and such. He's threatening me on social media. Go to such and such platform and you'll see he's threatening me or such and such, whatever the case may be. That's what I told y'all. <laughs> so, <laughs> by you doing that, and you got a problem with him, you know you ain't got no type of, you ain't on probation, so you're not going to do no jail time or prison time. Assault, assaulting somebody is just goddamn, you're going to get probation if you goddamn ain't on parole or probation and shit. You're going to get probation. You get what I'm saying? If that. Go on and put hands and feet on these motherfuckers. You hear what he said? He bragging about goddamn. Telling on goddamn street motherfuckers that come for them. So if they're going to pick at you. Then when it's time for you to react. Now here go goddamn law enforcement involved. So that's my reaction to this shit. Put hands and feet on like they did to Kasha 6 9 And if you ask me, that shit was staged and shit too. And. If legal actions was taken upon those guys that did the shit, then, hey, the shit wasn't staged or nothing. But like I told y'all, if you don't know me and if you're new to my channel and shit like that, I don't believe in shit that I see. Like, I don't believe in decoys, smoking mirrors, or none of that shit. It's, I, I look at it like it's always ulterior, ulterior motive to, to anything. People are doing shit for some type of clout, or you, know, you never know what type of game. Somebody is doing something for you. So, at the end of the day, since he pushing that campaign, the campaign I'm pushing is that if you know these individuals are like that, go on and put hands and feet on these people. You got bond money. Y'all motherfuckers be getting caught up with goods and drugs and shit and be making bond. So, what's an assault charge? What's an assault charge? Catch that motherfucker somewhere or pull up to him, beat his ass and shit. Then get charged for something, uh, which is going to be an assault. You get what I'm saying? 
that's an album and shit, it's gonna be a song. So that's be reacting to the wedding flop for, for the no jumper platform. Bragging about ratting on street niggas and shit like that. Once you agitate them. 